Schnell, welcome to a special episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Due to popular request, we're going to be going over the Mill Ma Mausoleum, aka the Crypt, aka my music slash bedroom. But we're going to be blasting the new Death Worship EP, End Times, Ross Bay Cult Eternal, and Nuclear War Now. So, Let's start the tour, shall we? Also, check out this fucking Discord shirt. It's awesome. Not the American Discord, the Mexican Discord. Let's do this. Alright, so... Welcome to the crypt. Now, it's a mess in here, but... There's a method to my madness. This is what you guys and girls normally see behind me. But what you might not know is there's some pretty sick flyers up here. The original fetid sentient pile of anamorphous rock demo flyer. One of the original maggot stomp flyers. All sorts of cool shit, Swamp Beast. That might be going to a friend of mine. I don't wanna spoil it because I know they're gonna be watching this. Probably my favorite poster in my room is this impure one of them hanging Christ. It's just badass. Some black twilight circle stuff. Wundagong. Frankenstein. Necrosic. Demon Sea. Some more show flyers. Scorched. Blood incantation. Artificial brain. Demulic. Convulse. Cadaveric incubator. Wundagang. Chaotin. Now this is um... Yeah, Kill Town show, so that's from Denmark. Pretty sure this is London. I didn't go to these shows, they were just sent to me. But yeah, my ceiling's even covered with savagery from Weregoat. All three Weregoat releases. Except for the split with Diocletian, I don't have that poster. But there's a deceased set list, internment, Crip Sermon, there's a hawk load, but this is one of my personal favorites right here. I'm a big Back to the Future fan, so getting the newspaper from Back to the Future 2 is just badass. The Hill Valley Edition, Spectral Voice Demo stuff, artwork by Jeff Whitehead. My dad's bobblehead, rest in peace. Old Morbid Angel poster. If you know what Blue Grape merchandise is, then you've been around for a while. But uh, sick fucking Swamp Beast and Void Terror poster. Exhumed. Cannibal Corpse. Anatomia, fucking Santana. Over here is some VHS and stuff. Really old torch poster. King Diamond, Abigail Live, 1987. Pig Destroyer, Painter of Dead Girls. That was the show for my birthday. Frozen Soul, Vomit Fort, Steel Branding Hand. Gotta have some Seagrave artwork next to his fucking signature. On my Suffocation, Effigy of the Forgotten CD. When I met Seagrave, I ran out to uh, my van at the time where I had that, and uh, yeah, he signed it for me. Thank you, Dominic, for sending this over from uh, Berlin, Germany. 
when he went to Never Surrender Fest. Caveman Cult. This was pretty much the war metal wall. Back here's the wall of death. Spectral Voice, Blood Incantation, 7 Inch, Galvanizer, Karst, Imprecation, Lex Elise down at the bottom. Right here we have a really limited Dark Descent Records bag with Pulsa Doom, Badass, and a Bind Rune Recordings tote bag as well. Hidden History of the Human Race. Some real old blood incantation flyers and stickers around here. That came with the picture disc version of Star Spawn. I put a lot of the old blood incantation flyers away. But we'll go over here. Now, I need some shelves, but my buddy Aaron hooked me up with some, like, six cassette-based briefcases. So, they kind of definitely came in handy. There's a bunch of 7 inches, VHS, Kill Town comps, and these are all, like, zines. Mostly head split. But I don't have uh, shelves at the moment, so these are all records, but like, yeah. I know, I need fucking shelves. Rest in peace, Chromebook. Here's more tapes. Anthrax, Among the Living. That was meant to be a back patch, but never really got used. These are just some trading cards from 20 bucks spin. And like I said, I'm a big Back to the Future fan. And I don't drink, but here's a fucking Killtown Death Fest beer. My buddy sent me a can of. Well, it wasn't full, but he just sent me an empty can, which... I thought it was pretty cool, but... Acid Witch. Go up on the bed. We have a Dequisitor poster for Downfall of the Apostate. Church of Disgust. Eternal Rock. Will fucking Romer. Tons of sick shit up here. Three, six fucking Mafia. About to say I see King Diamond. I also see Heisenberg chilling behind a head split flyer. But I fucking love this. Uh, Dylan at Head Split sent it over. I don't know what it's for, but I fucking love it. Death Womb. Jesse and Walt. From Matterhorn, before they were signed. Some more threat lists. Threat lists. Set lists, I mean. Celtic fucking Frost. Here's an old one right here from 2005. High on Fire, Mono, Panthers, and Coliseum. Their Keta obituary when they first did their comeback tour. That was a great show. September 7th, 2004. Morbid Angel and a Mum. Corpse S set list. Crypt Sermon. There's Entombed Clandestine cassette cover. An autographed Mastodon Leviathan framed poster I got back in the day when I used to be cool with those dudes before they were, you know, rock stars. But they're still awesome guys. 
Now this is something I'll go over a different time, but Dante's Inferno, some good reading. This is actually one of the first blacklisted flyers. Kind of cool. Old, old Mastodon poster. Cancer poster. Iron Maiden. There's a grotesque uh, flyer. All sorts of sick shit over here. Old, old Converge shit. And the cassette is over of End Times. So let's switch it up and uh, finish the room tour, shall we? People always ask me what kind of cassette deck I use. I use a boombox, but it's fucking really loud and that's all I really care about. And it also sounds fucking great. But it's an AWA, or however you say it, C A D W. Five seven something. Five seven ohm. So for everybody that's asked me, press pause and there you go. We're gonna throw on Blue Holocaust Flesh for the Cannibal God on Head Split Records. Killer fucking gore. I love it. Alright. So, we'll finish this all up. Here's some Mark Riddick art. A Midnight Poster. Blue Hummingbird on the left. Blood Incantation. My buddy's old BMX video zine standpoint. Skinless Poster. Merciful Fate, Into the Shadows, In the Shadows, my fault. But there's a lot of stuff in here, it brings back a lot of memories. But a lot of them involve sitting right here and just blasting tunes. As well as watching television and whatnot, even though this is just set up to, you know, just a DVD player at the moment. My VCR is in my mom's room so my nephew can watch movies. He's not scared of this room, to believe it or not. Like, he actually always asks me questions. There's a Lurker, a Chalice poster behind this. But, uh, pretty much. I used to have it set up so like there was a horror movie wall and then there was like the music wall but now everything's just a mismatch, mix match of insanity. The Stranger Things poster. It's just a chill little spot folks. I love it in here. Matt Hoffman gave me this, which was awesome. Acid Witch Stone, Cannibal Corpse, Neurosis, Anthem 2. Here's some classic Spectral Voice Blood Incantation shit. Just for Ed. I love it. Probably one of the most underrated bands ever. Buried Inside. They were on Relapse. Chronoclast, great record. Nails, You'll Never Be One of Us. Some Agoraphobic Nosebleed, Hacksaw. Never Surrender Fest lineup. Some Maggot Stomp shit. Pro Wrestling Flyers. Just pretty much your typical bedroom of a 35 year old single dude. Now, since my shelves are, and well, they're dead, pretty much I just keep everything here and whatnot in ABC order. And I know it's bad. It's, I, I need shelves. I, I know that. But we also have some more cassettes up here and whatnot. 
just tons and tons of shit with tons and tons of stories behind it. I just love my bedroom. I know it doesn't look like much, but I love it. There's a Woodward fucking sticker back there from like eighth grade. And behind all this are like ticket stubs from years ago. A lot of them are taken down and put in a box, which I'll show you real fast. You see that box right there? Now, I don't want to really go into this because there's some goodies in here that are for someone. But these are all gifts and stuff. People that, you know, send support and help with the channel. But there's also some really, really awesome goodies. Like from Blood Incantation. But I just I, I just love this fucking pit of just flyers and stickers. So much good stuff in there. And I'm gonna ask you, ladies and gentlemen, a question in a minute. Alright, well, that's pretty much everything. I mean, there's tons I could go over. I could go over my cassette collection, LPs, but like, pretty much, here's what I've been listening to lately. First off, we're blasting what I've been listening to a lot lately. Blue Holocaust, Flesh for the Cannibal God. Beherit, Drawing Down the Moon. Amazing Finnish black metal. Weekend fucking nachos, worthless. Thank you, Aaron, for the birthday present. So goddamn good. Really been listening to The Funeral Obsession a lot by Decompose. Amazing EP, like I said. And aside from these two, I've been listening to a lot of cassettes that are out of my reach right now, but Dead Congregation, Graves of the Archangels, one of the best death metal records in history. I'll stand by that statement. It's one of my personal favorite death metal records ever. Again, that's my opinion. If it's not yours, <laughs> but I'm so stoked on how good this sounds and Again, I'm just grateful. Thank you, Chad, for throwing me a shirt and throwing me the 12 inch of Encased in Ice by Frozen Soul for my birthday. Like, what an awesome birthday present. I think it's fucking dope. Like, stop the weak shit. Now all we gotta do is get a Sansa Sugarbog Pornographic Seizures LP secured, but I ended up making a Mortician cassette pre-order, or whatever, I think it was just an order, instead, because I was kind of thinking, well, it's probably just gonna pop up again and sell out, and then I won't be able to get the Mortician shit, and I won't be able to get Pornographic Seizures on wax, so hopefully when Jesus puts up copies on MSUO, I can get a trade set up or something because I need that demo on wax in my life. But if I don't get it, I don't get it. One more thing. One of my favorite horror movies ever is right next to me. And this was one of the first horror movies I ever showed my nephew. And that's Evil Dead 2. Dead by Dawn. Fun, campy, gore-filled horror. I was gonna show him Army of Darkness, but I was like, you know what? He might have more fun with all the over-the-top gore that's in Evil Dead 2. And he always was looking at that skeleton, ass, and like, I, I knew he wanted to 
because I felt the same way when I was a kid. I remember walking past that, like, in the video store and being like, I wonder what this this is all about. And then getting into the original Evil Dead, I fell down just this complete horror, you know, rabbit hole and ended up getting in the films like Cannibal Holocaust in like seventh grade when they were hard as fuck to find copies of. Like we used to order from like Relapse to get our VHS horror films because they had these like really gnarly violent movies and whatnot. So like yeah, it was always good to one of my good friends growing up worked at Relapse and lived two blocks that direction so like we would always hang out and he would show me all these crazy fucking horror movies and whatnot and yeah like this room seen really not a lot of changes aside from the poster I, I try to change up the posters at least twice a year but aside from that you know it's normally just me in here hanging out and, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't have that many, you know, real life people to hang out with. So there's a couple people I talk to online that I consider friends. And one of those friends is the reason this video is being made because they legit gave me a reason to do it. It just kind of lit a fire under my ass and I was like, you know what? Let's give the viewers what they want. So, this is what I was asked to do. Here it is for you ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you enjoyed, because there's only so much I could talk about, but hopefully one day, the fuck wallet becomes, you know, a little bit more than just $4. Because 2020, it's time to tighten up, and I really want to get it together. Um kind of sick of being by myself all the time and you know that needs to change and I need to travel like I used to as well even if that's just like fucking a little trip down to like DC to go to some museums and whatnot like that sounds like a fucking blast right now to me like seriously and, like, same thing with, like, going to, like, New York City on Valentine's Day for the Blood Incantation show. I still need to talk to a certain couple individuals involved in the show to make sure that I'm still good. Just in case I do end up, you know, going, because that would be amazing. But, uh, I need to talk to Jeff and, you know, hopefully I can take the bus up there and whatnot, but... I really need to thank Maddie again in Austin, Texas, and Credence Bikes, S&M Bikes, and Empire BMX for sending this, especially Maddie, like, just for sending me his prototype fucking frame. Hell yeah. Made in America, S&M slash Credence. This is the Black Magic frame. It's used, but it doesn't matter. Made in the USA, lifetime warranty, fuck yeah, I can't wait to build this up. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. If you have any more requests, suggestions, hit me up on here, Instagram, Facebook. If you know my phone number, text me, call me, whatever. But, I'm trying to hang out whatever but we were blasting blue holocaust flesh for the cannibal god and death worship end times so as always thanks for watching Hits. Yeah.